So cancer is a disease of our genes. Most tumors arise because there's a problem with how genes are expressed or silenced in tumors. And in fact, genes can be silenced or expressed abnormally by mutations or deletions or amplifications. These are all technical terms that tell you that a gene somehow is either turned on too much or it's turned off when it should be turned on. In order to understand cancer then, it makes a lot of sense that we should look at the genes and whether they're turned on or turned off and to what degree they're turned on or turned off. And to do that, we have something called a DNA microarray. Now I'm holding in my hands here the latest technology for studying gene expression using a DNA microarray. What it involves is removing the tumor from the patient, extracting the DNA or the RNA from the patient's tumor. And once it's extracted, we can drop it just as a little drop into this hole right in the center. If you take this apart, you can see that there is a square membrane that contains 30,000 different dots of DNA, each dot representing a single gene. Once processed, you can see by looking here at the screen, each of these dots will show up either as a bright spot, such as here, which represents a gene that's very highly expressed, or a dim spot here, representing a gene that's not expressed very highly at all. So in a sense, you can think of this, a bright spot as being a gene that's turned on too much, and a dim spot as being a gene that's not turned on very much at all, and then some of these spots have no signal at all, meaning that the gene is completely turned off. Now this whole square represents 30,000 genes, each spot representing a gene, and that represents one patient's tumor. And by comparing this fingerprint, this pattern of gene expression with a sample from the normal brain, we can see which genes seem to be abnormally either turned on or turned off that make that a cancer. This is giving us important insights into how best to treat patients because of course if you can see that a gene is turned on abnormally in the tumor that should be turned off then you would think about ways of using a drug to turn that gene off again so that the cell becomes more like a normal cell and this has been the key to targeted therapies for cancer.